Larry Shiner was the former New Jersey City University Athletics Director who served for 40 years, including the last 30 at the helm of the Gothic Knights Athletics before retiring in 2007. He was chief architect of the unprecedented growth and improvement in New Jersey City intercollegiate sports. During his tenure, Shiner oversaw the development of the John J. Moore Athletics and Fitness Center, supervised the development of the Thomas M. Garrity Athletics Complex, initiated the athletic department's extensive community outreach projects and services program, and served with distinction on New Jersey Athletic Conference, Eastern College Athletic Conference, and National Collegiate Athletic Association committees. Shiner also served as chair of the ECAC Championships Committee, the ECAC Eligibility Committee, and served a three-year term on the ECAC Board of Directors, and served on numerous other ECAC committees. In 2003, Shiner was presented with the Justin's ECAC Male Administrator of the Year at the ECAC Honors Dinner. In 2008, the ECAC recognized Shiner's achievements again at the Honors Dinner with the prestigious James Lina Distinguished Achievement Award. During his nine seasons as head basketball coach, he became the winningest coach in the program's history with 133 wins. Two of his teams were selected to participate in the NCAA College Division Championship Tournament. Five of his Gothic Knights teams reached postseason play, and the 1973 and 74 squads claimed back-to-back -back New Jersey State College Athletic Conference titles. Shiner also a standout athlete at the University of Maine, he is currently 13th on the Black Bears season rebounding list with 261 during his senior year, 1960-61. He's 12th on Maine's career rebounding list with 649 boards. He also averaged 19.8 points per game in his senior year and became the all-time leading scorer at the University of Maine with 969 points when he graduated in the 1960-61 season. Ladies and gentlemen, it is our honor and privilege to induct Larry Shiner into the inaugural class of the ECAC Hall of Fame.